Hi everyone and welcome to this new video. As you can see, we are going to make something different today. Because the thing that you can see here is a service tray and I just ordered a couple of them from my German Amazon here and I wanted to give it a try. It is basically inspired by Miss Colorberry and in case you do not know her, I will link her Instagram handle here in the video as well because you definitely should have a look at her profile. She is so awesome. I really, really enjoy watching her, following her and her artwork is just mind blowing. So she only is on Instagram, so you can not really find her on YouTube, just with a couple of other YouTubers collabing with her. And yeah, just have a look. She's just awesome. And on top of that, I just recently bought some of her pigment paints, which she just recently made available in her online store for purchase. And I just needed to try them out and see how they work. This project here was the first time that I do try them. And I will tell you exactly what I did. So as you can see, I already painted the background black, which just makes it easier for the pigments to shine and to come out very bright. Um, in case you have a really light pigment, like white or silver or something, I would not recommend making a dark underlayer, so you can make it white. But as I went for an amethyst pigment paste, which is a violet one, and her gold along with a white, I thought that this black underlayer might do a good job for me. And I was pretty white. <laughs> So I just use a regular acrylic paint to paint the under underlayer black just to have not the wood shine through and to have a bit better coverage to make the pigment shine in the end. Other than that, it was just mixing my resin and for this project I used the Resonate resin again because it only has this 15 minutes um, working time. So things are not going to move anymore after about 45-ish minutes, which I think was a good choice to use for this service tray. Because what I noticed when I unpacked everything, they are pretty sweet, they are nice, and they are made from bamboo or something like this, but their base is not really level, so they are all a bit warped. Some do have a hill in the middle, some do have a valley in the middle, so things are going to flow with the resin. I was thinking about making a, a layer with a cheap resin just to level it out, to make it even. But I did not do this for this first attempt here, so I just went straight into it. I picked the one which was the least warped and just wanted to see how things are going. I never did something like that where nothing can flow over the edges. So of course I did tape my edges when I made geodes and something, but this is a bit more controlled than what I think I can do here in this service tray. So I really was expecting the worst and just wanted to see how things are going. My plan, of course, was using as little resin as needed, just to have not things flowing all over the place. But as there was a valley in the middle, you will see things were flowing towards the middle. And the issue is when you have puddled resin and you go over it with the heat gun, it intermixes and smudges color. So this, you will see, was not the prettiest. And I scraped some of the pooled resin in the middle off, just to get rid of it and to have a yeah, a thinner coat of resin over the entire piece. Just to be able to make more, let's say, design in it, you will see what I did. And my initial goal was just to have an even coverage of the base layer, which was the amethyst, and then use some strings to pull some white and gold over there, just to see if I can get the lacing effect working, and if I get some cells, and everything is pretty, and you know. <laughs> Besides of the resin pigments that I used, I also used some glitter because, you know, glitter. I always tell this in my videos, when I use resin, I always need to use glitter. It makes it just even better. Although these pigments are super gorgeous and great and glitter a bit on themselves and they're shiny and such, but glitter even brings it more to life when the sunlight hits it. And in the end, as usual, I will show you the final result filmed in sunlight when I hover over it with the sun reflecting and you can see the sparkle, which is just super awesome. So I just love it and I will always use glitter when I use resin. I bought many different colors of this glitter from just for you online which also was recommended by Miss Colorberry herself so I wanted to give it a try and I ordered some of them and they really have super gorgeous colors. So I will link their homepage here in the video as well in case you want to give it a try as well. They have a ton of different colors, they come in different packages so you can pick whatever you would like to use. I have no discord code or something, so you just what, what you can see you can get. 
And I'm not sponsored by, by none of both, but I just wanted to share it with you and just in case you want to test it out yourself. And just as a small side note for this video, I just yesterday activated my Patreon account. Yay! <laughs> and I'm super happy that I already achieved my first ever Patreon, which is super, super great. So thank you so, so much for being the first. So as you can imagine, there is not so much content there yet, basically none. <laughs> But when you see my tiers that I activated there, you will see the reason why. Because the first tier is basically just to say thank you. Second tier is about a community video where you should tell me the topic to talk about. The third tier is about a live hangout, which only makes sense if there's a couple of people basically. And the fourth and last tier is my workshop tier. And in case you wonder, we can make this workshop tier in English, in German or a bit Klingon if you like. <laughs> So you will see where the road is going to take me and for those who want to join me right away for November just stay with me a bit longer until we get a couple of people perhaps and see what is requested for the videos to come. But for each and every one of you who would like to have a look at my Patreon they are linked in the video description down below and I would just love to see if you like my page. <laughs> But returning back to the artwork itself, so when I applied the first base layer of my resin and then applied the gold onto it, you can see that things were flowing already. And when I used the heat gun, everything went a bit high wire anyways. So yeah, I just used the strings, added the white, and I really like the lacing effect that I achieved with the white. As there was only a very thin coat of resin on the outside of this surface tray, because most of it flew to the middle, <laughs> Um, everything worked great and I hope to achieve this effect overall the entire piece but I had no idea how to get this done with this middle section where everything was pulled up. So I just scraped a bit of this pool out there just to give it, yeah, you know, just to be able to play around a bit more with it. And this actually really helped me make a design that I liked. This is basically the end result that you can see here. It is a very quick project so there is not so much more to tell but I can tell you that I did a couple more of them so I ordered seven in total and I will have a couple of those projects jump in every now and then in the next weeks for you to have a look at and you can see the different designs that I achieved and the obstacles that I had to overcome with some of them because they are yeah they are a bit warped so but anyways, when the resin was applied, everything evened out, of course, so now they are not really warped on the inside, everything is great, and I really loved the design that I achieved here. After about four hours, everything was cured to the touch, which I really love for this resin, because it's really curing quickly. But nevertheless, I put it outside and put something over it to have nothing fall or fly onto it and yeah just let it be for a while and on the next day i filmed it outside in the sunlight because i had no sunlight the day where i made it and yeah i really hope you liked this little sweet project here perhaps it inspires you to give it a try yourself because christmas is coming and you need some presents and such this is really lovely for a gift i will put them in my etsy store as well in case anyone would like to adopt them and yeah we will see if you have whatsoever questions, please make sure to leave them in the comment box below, my social media links, my product that I've used and newly my Patreon page is on my description box as well. If you're new here and like this video, please as usual give me a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed, you really should do so because there are so many awesome projects already here and many more are to come. So it won't get boring, I promise. So besides all of that, I would love if you could share this video with your friends and family and everyone who would like to see this. And yeah, other than that, I hope to see you in my next videos. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye bye.